Hello everybody, my name is Pixie. In this video, we'll be reviewing the Fifine K690 USB microphone. Now, this microphone was sent to me by Fifine a while back, and I just want to give them a big shout out, because if you didn't know, I used to use my laptop microphone. Okay, so what you wanna do is, first of all, download Adobe Media Encoder, which means my video is pretty bad, but thanks to them, this upgraded my voice quality, which means my video is 10 times better to watch. So what we will cover in this video is the unboxing with some specifications, then the microphone test with the four different polar patterns and my honest review about the microphone. Now if you want to skip to a certain point on the video, like the microphone test, you can use the timestamps on the video which will be down in the description. And without further ado, let's start with the video. So here is the box that it comes in. Once you open it, you'll see the company information and the user guide that shows different microphone options, specifications and how to connect it to your device. Then once you remove the foam cover, you'll see the microphone and some other stuff, such as the type A USB cable, which is about six and a half feet long or about 190 centimeters long. Right now there is nothing inside because I already have it set up under my table, but here is an image of how it looks like. Next, we have the screw adapter for a boom arm. So if you do not want to use the desk stand that it comes in, you can use this. And then finally, we have the microphone, which comes in just like this. Now here is how the microphone looks like. It can turn around with no problem and as you can see it can turn 360 degrees. And it's also really easy to remove the desk stand. So to do that all you have to do is use the screws on the side and just like that you can remove the microphone. And if you want to put it back on the desk stand it's also really easy and it will only take you a few seconds to do that. Now this is how the front of the microphone will look like. Here we have the logo and then a light indicator beneath that. So if it's green, it means it's unmuted, but if it's red, it's muted. So that's how you know if you're muted or not. And then below that, we have the button that does just that. So you can mute yourself and unmute yourself with that button. Then at the bottom there is a headphone volume adjuster. So if you want to hear how you sound, you can plug in your headphones from the bottom of your microphone and hear yourself with no latency. So if you go down below your microphone, on the right side, you can plug in your headphones and you should just hear yourself and you can test the microphone. Now at the bottom, we have a mini USB jack, which you can plug in the cable and then plug the other side to the computer. And in the middle is for the screw adapter, which is basically for the boom arm. So you can remove the desk stand and then screw it in and then connect it to a boom arm. And like I mentioned before, on the right is where you can plug in your headphones and check how you sound. Now on the back of the microphone, we have the volume gain. And then below that is the best thing in my opinion, which is the four pickup pattern switch. So there are four pickup patterns that you can use. So the first one we've got is stereo. And that is good for recording ASMRs, podcasts, vocal and instruments. And then we have omnidirectional. So it's for ASMR and conferencing of multiple members. So it will basically capture 360 degrees from every side. So if there's like people around the microphone, this mode is good for that. Now next we have cardioid. This is good for streaming, recording voiceover, vocal and instruments. So it will capture basically the front of the microphone, but not so much on the back. And finally, we got bi-directional. So this is for face-to-face -face interview and podcast. So it will capture the front and the back, but not so much on the sides. And these are the specifications if you're wondering. And the price for the Fifine K690 microphone at the moment is $100, which is cheaper than most high-quality microphones, such as the Blue Yeti, which is around $150. Now the microphone itself feels sturdy, I had it for a while and it never moved. It has a bit weight to it, so it's really good and I guarantee you it will not move even if you have a shaky table. And also my table is pretty small, but when gaming, recording or even eating, the microphone didn't bother me. So if you don't have a lot of space or your table is shaky, then that shouldn't be a problem at all. Now we're going to do a mic test and test out the four different pickup patterns. So let's start. Now before the test starts, I do want to mention that I use voice meter potato and that basically enhances the audio quality and it can also decrease background noise. So I mainly use that to decrease the background noise. I didn't know I have a laptop and the laptop works really loud. Voice meter just decreases that background noise and makes it more clearer. But anyways, let's get back to the test.
Now this is me talking on the stereo polar pattern and for the whole test I will be not too close but not too far away from the mic and let's say you want your microphone to be further away you can always adjust the voice gain setting so on the back of the microphone on the top you can adjust that so right now I'm at the lowest setting and as you can see if I start bumping it up my voice will be louder and louder so keep that in mind and I'm just gonna drag it down back to zero but anyways here's how the stereo polar pattern sounds like and if I go to the left you will hear me more from the left just like that and then if I go to the right you will hear me more from the right so if you use stereo you know you can go to the left and you can also go to the right and it's pretty cool so this is how I sound in stereo and let's move on to the second one so the next polar pattern we got is omnidirectional with this you can hear me from 360 degrees so here is me talking on the left and here is me talking on the right so as you can see you can hear me uh, from every angle even the back so here's how it sounds in omnidirectional and let's move on to the third one and the third polar pattern we got is cardioid but this one is the main one people use i mean it says it's good for stream recording voiceover vocals or instruments and yeah this is how it sounds so this is me talking from the left side and we're shifting to the right just like that and this is me talking in the middle so this is how it sounds in cardioid and let's move on to the last one and this is how it sounds in bidirectional so this is face to face so it will capture sound from the front and it will also capture sound from the back but not so much on the sides so you can put the microphone in the middle and it's, let's say someone's in front of you it will capture the sound from the back and it will also capture the sound from the front and this is how it sounds so let's say we're shifting to the left as you can see you can probably hear me less and if I shift back to the front you can hear me just like that now I'm shifting to the right this is how you can hear me and I'm shifting to the front and you know the front sounds the same as the back and that is how the final polar pattern sounds like and these were all four polar patterns and that is how they sound like and now I'm back on voice meter potato so that's how the microphones sound with different pickup patterns and of course it will sound better if you're closer to the microphone but even if you are further away the quality is still there so I don't think that's an issue now what I rate this microphone is a solid 8 out of 10 which is a really good rating and if you're looking for a high quality microphone that does basically everything you want I really recommend the Fifine K690 the links for the microphone will be in the description so if you are looking for a brand new microphone but you don't know what to buy I really recommend the Fifine K690 but anyways this was Pixie thank you so much for watching and I'm out